Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to walk you through eight exercises aimed at improving leg strength and range of motion after stroke. This video is appropriate for someone who's got at least a slight to moderate amount of movement in their legs. Be on the lookout, I will be making another video where I show you how to work your legs out while laying down in bed if this one's a little too hard for you. We'll be doing two sets of 10 and taking a short break in between each set. For this video, you might benefit from having a small pillow, a kitchen towel or a bath towel, and TheraBand if you happen to have it. All right, everyone, let's get into our first exercise, which is seated marches. So for this exercise, you're not gonna need any specific equipment. Um, you will need to be sitting in a solid, stable chair for all of these exercises. For this one, your hands are either going to be at your uh, sides of your hips on the base of the chair, or if you have a chair with armrest, arms will be there. Feet should be flat on the ground. And for this one, we are going to pick up our knees, lift our feet up off the ground if you're able to, and just very gently march while we're sitting. So let's go ahead and do our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. We'll take a couple seconds in between each set just to take a little bit of a breather. If you need to grab water or pause the video at any time just to take a breather, totally fine. Do what you need to do and works best for you. Work at your own pace, okay? This exercise is really important for working our hip flexors, the muscles that flex our hips. Um, they help us walk and go up and down stairs. So the only modification that I really have for this one is you're not bringing your knees up quite so high. Maybe you're just very gently lifting up your knees, okay? So let's go ahead and do our second set of 10. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Exercise number two is thigh squeezes or hip adduction. We are bringing our thighs in together. So if you have one available, go ahead and grab out your pillow. If you don't have one, you can take a towel and fold it up between your legs, but pillow's preferable if you have it. So you're gonna put this in between your thighs here. Again, we've got our feet nice and flat on the floor. We're feeling stable in our chair. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this exercise. So we're gonna take and squeeze our thighs together, hold for a second, and then relax. Our goal is to really squeeze our thighs and squeeze that pillow or that towel between our legs. Let's go ahead and start with our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, squeeze, relax. Two, squeeze, relax. Three, relax. Four, relax. Five, Relax, six, relax, seven, relax, you're doing great. Here's number eight, squeeze, hang with me. You might be feeling that burn right now. This is number nine, relax, and 10, relax. Good job. So we'll take a little breather here for a couple seconds. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Our hip Adductors, A-D-D-ductors, um, are really important in helping to stabilize our hip joint. Um, they help with keeping us balanced and stable. So they're very important muscles to work out. Let's go ahead and grab our pillow. We're going to make it through our second set of 10 here. So pillow between the thighs. Ready? Here we go. One, squeeze, relax. Two, relax. Three, 
Nice job, relax. Here's four. Relax, you got this. Number five. Relax. Six. Relax. Seven. Relax, we are almost there. This is number eight. Relax. Nine. Great job. Relax. Last one. Give me everything you got here. Squeeze. And relax. Good job. Let's move on to exercise number three. Okay, our next exercise is thighs out or hip abduction, abduction. Um, we are going to be going the opposite way now, bringing our thighs out to the side instead of squeezing in. So if you don't have any TheraBand at home, don't worry about it. We can just focus on our movement here. So the movement's going to be legs together, come out. Together, legs out. Now this one may be more beneficial to sit on the side of the bed if that's stable enough for you or possibly even on a couch as long as it's not too low or soft. You wanna make sure enough of your leg is supported by the surface to allow you to move your legs. Now, if you do have some TheraBand, here's a quick modification. And you, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can wrap that TheraBand around your legs and then pull out against the band. So you figure out what's gonna be best for you. Let's go ahead and get into our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, doing great, four, five, six, seven, maybe starting to feel a little bit of a burn here. That was number eight, this is nine. Last one, relax, very nice. Again, the hip abductors, abductors, work along with the adductors, adductors, to keep our hips nice and stable. They also let us lift our legs out to the side, which is very important. Think about, especially getting into and out of a car. We really need that hip abduction out to the side to get into a car. Okay, I hope you've had enough of a break. We're gonna do our second set of 10 here. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, number 10. Very nice, take a breather and let's move on to the next one. Our fourth exercise is hip internal and external rotation. So we're gonna start off um, with the easier version of this. So if you've got your towels available, you're gonna need them for this. You're going to unfold it and drop it on the ground. Your foot is going to go on top of the towel. We're gonna reduce some of that friction. So if you really have a hard time lifting up your leg and moving it around, this is gonna be the modification you'll want. If you have a little bit more strength, you're gonna be able to lift your leg up and do this exercise. So I'll quickly demonstrate on the towel where we turn our foot and our knee in and then our foot and our knee out. So we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Now I recommend, go ahead and start with your affected side. You have the towel underneath your foot. Let's go ahead and do our first set of 10 here. Ready, toes in and out. Good, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hang with me, you're doing great, that's eight, and nine, last one of our first set, 10. 
take a breather, wonderful job. Our internal and external rotators of our hip are very important. You can kind of think of them as the rotator cuff of the hip. We know that our rotator cuff muscles in our shoulder allow our shoulders to have a lot more dynamic movement and the rotator muscles of our hip do the same thing. Let's go ahead and try our second set. I'm gonna show you with my um, leg up in the air this time. This is the harder version, so if this is too hard for you, stick with the towel on the ground. Okay, here we go. First set, turning our toes and knees in and out. One, in and out. Two, three, good, and in and out. That's four, in, and out, five, in, and out, six, in, and out, seven, in, and out, eight, in, and out, nine. I am feeling the burn. Let's do this last one and whew, relax. I felt that one. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, everyone, exercise number five is knee extension and flexion. Um, so this is the actual exercise that we're gonna be going through. However, if you know that you're not gonna be able to do this, I wanna show you a quick modification. If you grab your towel and go ahead and put that on the floor, you're gonna put that underneath your affected side. Foot's gonna be flat on the ground and you're gonna work to Slide your foot forward, straightening out your knee, and then bringing the foot back and bending your knee. So stick with this if raising your leg up is gonna be too much for you right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first set of 10 with the towel underneath my foot. Second set, I uh, will show you the um, uh, harder version. All right, so ready? Here we go, and one, Two, doing great. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang with me, two more. This is nine and 10. Good job. Take a breather here for just a minute. Now, why do we work on knee flexion and extension? That probably seems obvious, but it is absolutely necessary to have knee, a certain amount of knee flexion and extension to walk. So that's why we work on it. Now in our second set of 10, just to refresh you, knee is going to straighten, and then you're going to drop your leg slowly. Key there, slowly. All right, let's get through our second set of 10 here. Here we go, raise up, one, two, three, four, five, six, doing great, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Excellent job. Grab some water if you need it, take a breath, and then I'll meet you at the next exercise. Exercise number six is seated calf raises. So for this exercise, you are going to need to have your feet planted firmly on the ground. Now you can do this one at the same time if you feel like you're coordinated enough and you feel balanced enough. Otherwise, you can just focus on the affected side. So with our feet flat on the ground, we're going to work to come up on our toes, lifting our heel up, and then bringing it slowly back down. There's really no modification for this one aside from just not bringing your heel up quite as high. Um, so let's go ahead and work through our first set of 10 here. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, nice job, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. Calf raises are super important um, for walking. And if you think about ever having to reach up to get into a tall cabinet and kind of getting up on your tippy toes, that's what a calf raise is. Let's go ahead and work through our second set of 10. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, hang with me, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. I will meet you at exercise seven. Our next exercise is toe raises or ankle dorsiflexion. Now, Ankle dorsiflexion is what allows us to lift up the toes of our foot. And often with stroke survivors, what we see is foot drop, which is the inability or difficulty with raising the toes. So this exercise typically looks like this, raising our toes up off the ground and then back down. The modification for this exercise is this, even if we just get a muscle contraction, that is okay. If we don't produce movement, that's okay. We are trying to reconnect brain with body. And the more that we're trying, the more the brain is being activated. So even if you don't get movement, I want you to hang with me and try this one. All right, let's go through our first set of 10. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, good job, seven, eight, nine, last one here. Relax. If you've ever experienced foot drop, you know that this is probably one of the most frustrating things to get back. Um, a lot of people who have trouble with dorsiflexion end up wearing an AFO or an ankle foot orthosis to, um, keep the foot flat versus wanting to drop down. So that's why this one is so important. And even if you can't get the movement, just practicing and trying to get that muscle contracting, um, it's, that's why it's so incredibly important to work through this one. With that said, let's go through our second set of 10. Ready? Woo. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one here, 10. Very nice. All right, we are almost there. We've got one more exercise to get through. All right, congratulations, you made it to the last exercise. I am so proud of you for making it this far. Let's talk about our last one we are going to be doing chair push-ups. So you need to be in an, again, in a nice, sturdy, solid chair. If you have a chair with armrests, this may be helpful for you to be pushing up from the armrest on this one. So the chair push-up looks like this. Now I don't have armrests, so my hands are down on the mat here. I'm gonna lean forward. I'm using my arms to push up. My legs are stabilizing here but I'm not coming all the way up to standing, okay? That's my chair push up, and then I slowly lower back down on my arms. Now, if you can't get your bottom up off of the mat, modification here is just to lean forward. You're focusing on your core. You're, you don't actually have to get your bottom up, but you're pushing up through your arms and weight bearing, and then slowly come back. Now, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, <laughs> you can actually lean forward and then come all the way up to standing. I won't stand up because I'm cutting off my head, <laughs> but um, figure out which way is going to be best for you. I'm gonna show you the one in the middle. Ready? Let's go ahead and do our first set of 10. Hang with me, we're almost there. Ready? And one.
two, doing great. Ignore the creaking of this table. <laughs> three. Good. This is number four. You guys have been crushing it today. Keep crushing it. Get through this last one with me. That's five. Halfway through our first set. Six. Nice, slow, controlled movement on the way down. Seven. We don't want any plopping here, okay? <laughs> Number eight. Nine. And whew, 10. Whew, let's rest for a couple seconds. Go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. You may have noticed I was using my fist just to get a little more um, leverage here. Um, you can do that or you can keep your hands flat or like I said in the beginning on the arms of your chair, whatever feels more stable for you. Let's take a big deep breath all together in through our nose and out through our mouth. You guys are doing great today. Let's get through our last set of 10 and that's gonna be all we're gonna do today. Ready? Let's get in position here. All right, here we go. And one, two. I know this last one is the hardest, but I want you to hang with me here. You've made it this far. Don't quit on me yet. You got this. Number four. Good. It's five. This is six. Seven. You can do this. Eight. Nine, you got it, you got it, last one, here we go. Whew. Nice job, take a well-deserved break, get some water, I'll see you back here next time you wanna go through your leg exercises. All right, everyone, that's it for today. If you've tried other exercises for your legs and you liked those, leave me a comment and let me know what they are. As always, I've got a link down in the description to sign up for my email list if you'd like to get three stroke recovery tips a week and access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and I'll see you next time.